Welcome back to Project Zomboid. So I'm here, and today we are kicking off in the rain. Classic, I know. So between episodes, I've moved maybe three feet, placed the rifle on the table, and just scrolled through my inventory to find we're pretty overweight. I need to do something about that kind of ASAP. Uh, that'll do it. Nice. This rain is getting very heavy very quickly too. So last episode I had a comment about marking my stashes on the map, so that is exactly what I've done. So I've marked out a few areas on here. I should also mark the car. We'll go for blue, just to spruce it up a little. Blue and car. Lovely car. Nice. I think what I would like to do today is take a little trip up this main road. I think, I know I was kind of looking at bridging out this place but I think I might just take a sledgehammer through this corner there's a little uh, little bit there and if I can cut a path straight through sledgehammer down that fence it'll be so much easier than trying to fight around this and yeah it would just just work and I'm well on board with that I like things just working I don't like stress and pain and just aggro really but yeah I think first things first I'd like to see what the crack is down here uh, busy. Very busy. So there's usually quite a few cars and things like that. So I kind of want to kind of wanna do the rounds. Get on top of it all. Make sure the world looks pretty good to me. So I've got a long-term downtown Louisville plan. And it starts with this. Is that a brand new car? No, crumpled bonnet. Probably not worth it. But yeah, it kind of starts with heading through this mess. I know last time we were here, we ended up burning absolutely thousands of them. And it ended up being a bigger mission than it was worth. But I'm not doing that. That's, that's way too much. I kind of just want to get a safe path up to at least the junction with the hospital on. As long as we can drive a car. To be fair, we don't even have to make it that far. We could even just make it to our little corner head home, grab a sledgehammer, and kind of go from there. He looks new. Ah, busted windows. Where is it? Basically in line with this. Ah, is that? Light metal drum. Ah, ah, cool. I didn't know they were things. So I've had consistent comments now <laughs> about rain collector barrels down there that can take 700 water. Wouldn't mind them. Really would not mind them. Get out of here, boy. One cheeky little downswing. Two cheeky little downswing. Nice. Alright, this is where we want to be. And... Oh! <laughs> Just as I said about not finding katanas. What a legend. I think that literally was last episode as well. What are the chances? Scripted, I tell ya. <laughs> Absolutely scripted. Right, let's just clear out this little bit. Uh, way too heavy. Nice. Lovely. And then, boom. Straight in there. Nice. Right, if we can get that bit clear, even like 90% clear so we can drive a car through, that'll be alright. Oh, can we get any more? We can. Good bit of ammo too. What are you fellas up to? Where'd your mate go? Ah, just on a mission in his own little world. Very nice. See ya. Right, are we looking down here? Nothing too crazy. That's okay. I need some food. That's where I'm going wrong. Desperately need some food. And we are not going to find it down here, that's for sure. Uh, how far do we need to go for the first houses? Mm, it's up here. It's a big pain. I reckon we go and tackle those first. Should be a fence up here that we can hop over. Doesn't really help us with our car situation. So I've got one down at the military base, but I'd like to keep it at the military base. That needs to be the permanent backup car in case of big emergencies and I need to escape pretty rapidly. Ah, hello. We don't speed walk down here, ladies and gents. 
That's golden rule of this of this little railroad tree line thing. No speed walking. It's a death trap. You just never know. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we also don't need to hop this fence. I always forget about that too. This side's not so bad. It's a bit more open, but the inside lethal. Get up, fellas. There was one behind me too, but kind of hoping he's lost interested. Lost interested? Lost interest. See ya. Ah, so close. So close. Any more of y'all? Yeah, boy. Just keep adding to the list at this rate. He'd make an absolutely horrendous thief. Your burger flipping skills cannot be used to force open windows, I can tell you that. Alright, any food. Check out the old golden bookcase first. A little bit of food. Probably smash all of those right now, to be fair. Get that can of beans. Make ourselves unhappy. And a whole lot of canned spuds. One down. And two for two. Two for two. Nice. Get those on the bodies today. Decay. Don't really want to be lumped with loads of leftover empty tin cans. Wish you could break them down and actually use them for metal working, but it's fine. It is what it is. Should start crossing these off as well. Should make a little habit of that before we get too far. Nice. Risky, risky, risky business. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> That's my fault, but I'm definitely blaming you. A um, little bit of mustard and lard. We're completely full. Wonderful. Love that. I might just round up all the food, get it in maybe that first house. And any extra gear, of course. Five houses. Get to the end, work our way back. That is the way. All locked. Well, so far. They were less than halfway through, but... Let me be dramatic. <laughs> yeah, fella. Sorry for breaking into your house and then murdering you in your bathroom, but... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, my friend. Okay, the food is getting better. I like that. Definitely get on board with that. Let's head over to house number four. Yeah. Of course. What would this place be without a house alarm? <sighs> right, let's just grab whatever we can and go. Very over encumbered too. Terrible, terrible mix. Uh, we've looted that one. All right, I guess we just head back. Make sure our handgun's reloaded. Nope. Good thing I checked, I can tell you that. Could have been a very, very dead man. Very dead man. Alright, I'm going to head the whole way back home on that note. No point staying out here and waiting for the mess to come. We may as well just avoid it. See ya, boy. Now this is where a little gate would come in handy here. Do you know what I mean? If we could tuck straight through and just walk our way down. It'd be more than ideal. Or oh, one better drive our way down. See ya. Yeah, we're starting to get very, very exhausted. It ain't looking good. Is that a new car? No. Ain't no new cars out here. Nice. Does that look new? Nah, uh, battered door. Shame, shame, shame. Ah, oh, well. Alright, let's go drop this gear off. Okay, that does now look like we stand a chance of surviving, which is nice. I'll take that all day long. Let's just drop off those extra five, six rounds and get ourselves settled in for a couple hours, I reckon. 
may not quite be a night, but we could be here for a while. I do want to get some of this cleared out too. We're very overweight. Probably don't need those two hand axes. Is there another spot for them? I guess I do just use this. Yeah. Katana, I'm not going to need for now. I've got a machete to clear. Should really use that first. That can go in there though. Definitely don't need that right now. Or the chain. Uh, probably not free garbage bags or a backup set of leather gloves. Much better. Back down to 12. That's way more like it. Way more like it. Uh, probably going to spend the night here, I reckon. It's getting late, we're getting tired. Already very exhausted. I'll see you guys bright and early. Thought I'd check out this truck on our way out. And it looks pretty tasty. Got a nice nail bat in there. Potential chain bat. Just needs a bit of workshop and a couple of gas cans. Not too shabby. So I might just shift these bits out of the way so I don't mow them down at any point because I do like them. Always my favourite things and I don't know why. I think it's because you can't craft them. Something about uncraftable things just makes me happy. Especially when you keep it for a very long time. Like year into the apocalypse, still with a road cone you kept from day one. Something about it just makes me happy. Don't know why. <laughs> it's the little things in life. You can absolutely tell. If I went to uni, I'd would have without a doubt had a traffic cone in my room but I did not go to uni so no traffic cones unfortunately ah get me out of there come on fellas I don't really want to be dealing with you just yet but I'll take it it is what it is can't tell if that little red car's new no it's not same old same old battered little motor all right, hopefully this truck is just as nice. No, nowhere near. Oh, well. Ooh. Now, I didn't think Zeds could take down pre-placed things. But I guess I'm wrong. I always thought those tents were pretty much indestructible unless you pick them up and put them down. Apparently not. So those guys did not seem to care that I had no no part in that being there. Learn something new every day. Ooh, are you new? Does look new, doesn't he? It's definitely locked. Gas, battery. Perfect. Oh. And a near perfect one just behind it. Why? Why, why, why? Why don't you use the weapon instead of your elbow? Nice. Let's just have a little sneak peek, see if we've got a car key. No. Nah. No joy. That's okay. Plus others, we can hotwire it, but we're gonna get stung. See ya, boy. Alright, let's just smash this out. Lovely. Second time's the charm. Okay, my main goal is just to scout. You know, I might actually try and clear out that little corner outpost. Wow, it's like a radio shack. Almost gone straight past it. So I think I'd like to use this as a little future resting point, I guess. Not quite a base, but it's far enough away from the military base that I don't want to fall back there every time. If I've got a little middle ground spot, it'd be ideal. And that's probably the perfect one. I can get a little tent in there actually, that'd be even nicer. So I'm not going to quite go all out and start trapping yet, don't worry. <laughs> Especially not out here. But I would like a little fishing station back at the military base. That's a good shout. Can't forget about that. Just need a second sledgehammer really. Hate just having one. Take care of this guy. Can't have you getting away now, can we, boy? Feeling all left out. Just be mean. Uh, nothing. Never know with those little lockers. Well, the military ones are filled to the brim, but most of the outside ones seem to be a bit empty. Ah. That star-crossed lovers. Joined by a dink to the head. Well deserved, my friend. Well deserved. 
Disassemble the computers. Get ourselves level four. Guess I'm only doing one. Don't really want to fight for all of that. So good XP though, that's the problem. Ooh, one key and a shotgun. And the Desert Eagle and a box of shotgun shells. You are far too kind. Far too kind. Got a generator out there too. It's a pretty good little spot. Every time. Always surrounded too. Keep that in mind. Last but not least, beautiful. Keep it moving, ladies and gents. Keep her moving. Hey, nice. So rare I get nimble. Ah, there you go. So it's so rare I get nimble past level two, but just proved my point. I thought it was going up to level three, but that's fine. Get them in there, fellas. Let's just get this place cleared once and for all. Let's say that. As soon as we drive away, it's going to draw on another herd. Without a doubt. We'll just have to keep them away from these windows. Oh, rapid. That was rapid door. That should start dropping now. He's got the perfect cool today. Perfect cool. Lovely. Alright, let's get our car and... Oh, come on. You interrupted the bit. Right, should we try it again? Let's get our car. Get out of here. Ah, oh, I need to move these cones first, which means more people interrupting the bit. Stop it, please. We've got little to no hope these days, I tell you. Should be old black shirt down first. Blue shirt second. And last but not least, the grey shirt. Followed by a funky little green shirt lady. You can keep it. You deserve it. Did break on your face. That was completely accidental, I promise. Uh, nice steezy chin stab. No. It's been slacking on the chin stabs today. Yeah. Do not like it one bit. You know, it's really weird. Back in the day, I used to not care about being overweight at all, and now, now it keeps me on edge. Don't know why. I don't know what's changed in the past like two months but that is on that list that terrifies me every time uh, let's go for a drive as always hospital down south is hectic absolutely ridiculous every single time it's not even worth it do you know what I mean? we've done this once before i probably shouldn't do it again even if it would be fun don't know if you've noticed, but I don't like repeating things if I can help it, especially when they're still fresh, and that is insane. Uh, probably going to get stung in that. Let's do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Uh, top tier driving skills. Follow the gaps. Follow the gaps. If I just beeped right now, every single one of them would stop. But I'm too scared. <laughs> I don't even know where they're flocking to. That way. There's no way they're all coming to the house alarm. Do you know what I mean? Alright, I'm straight up and through, aren't I? Yeah, I've mapped this out already. Got one spot I want to get to. Just down the road from our little corner base, I think. Probably should have brought Katana for our way back. Ah oh, well, live and learn. I'll have a machete somewhere. This place is wild, man. 
There's so many Zeds. Welcome to downtown Louisville, ladies and gents. Do not come here. <laughs> if you can help it, stay in Rosewood. Oh, I'm a good driver when I need to be. Just not when it's in a straight line. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Very sketchy. Here. I need to turn right here. That's perfect timing. If I just turn right and swing down this main road, we'll be pretty much there. Alright, so as we follow this through, we'll be sweet. Should be quite quiet down there too, which would be nice. Yeah, this whole road has been pretty much dead quiet. I did not know there was a gas station there. This is going to be the conquest. Of course it is. No brainer. They literally don't seem interested at all. What have we done to deserve this? Well, I guess, I guess the herd behind us is why we deserve a nice calm before the storm. Get on, my lady. Nice and easy. Mm, already don't like this. Already feels like it's getting more than I want to tackle. Oh, fellas. This is why the hunting knife is just unreal. Level 1 or level 10. Things a beast. I've really come around on it. If you watch the old series, I'm like slating it left, right and centre. Always so scared of just being this close. But once you get comfortable, man, these things are solid. Solid as a rock. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Just like the old stompers. Ooh, first game of the day. Where are you going to be, boy? Bread knife, of course. Ooh, that's even better. West Point as well is close. Can avoid anywhere near home. Don't look for me here. Spiffo's manager used to keep a shotgun in store. Crazy guy knew what was coming. Untouched hardware place. That means that that hardware store is going to be an absolute treasure. I need to go there. That's what that means. I need to get that done. I'll add it to the list. We've got a long list of things that we're doing. And the more new things I find, the more I procrastinate on the things I originally agreed to. Gear on, lads. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. That's more like it. Lally job. I haven't had a little digital watch in a long time. Okay, we've got one little group back there. The rest of this down here looks fairly quiet. Except for that group. And does the car wash look empty? It's always a big fear of mine. My favourite thing was when they added decorations to it though. Look how funky these look. I can't wait for trees to look like this. Do you know what I mean? They, they actually look fluffy. I just want to hug it. Even if it is full of pegs. <laughs> okay. We ain't getting the old down stomp today. No, I should have shifted another weapon. Oh, Cordy's gonna have to do. I wish that was a hunting knife in your leg. All right, either way. Let's just grab two out. Belt left, belt right, and you can take the oldie but goldie. Nice. All right, what have we got in here? I thought that was a new car, but it's not. Not lucky enough to get that round here. That's no thingies either. Gonna have to play the game. 
The noisy game. Oh, so much food. Good bit of shelf jerky. My favourite. Tell you what, I know that I say it's my favourite every time, but I wish you guys knew how much jerky I had in my cupboard. <laughs> it's not a drill. There's way too much in there. It's wonderful. Uh, margarine. The difference is, it is in packets. It's not just cupboard jerky. It's packeted cupboard jerky. An annotated map on a shelf. I've never seen one of those. Miles away. Safe as house. Barricade it. Absolutely not. All around here, don't shoot. Sound attracts them. Doesn't need to be done down there. Already absolutely thousands. And it was all that guy's fault. Bear that in mind. Uh, chips. Chips and chocolate. That's what we want. Straight in the old pockets. Alright, you guys gonna be nice? Lovely. Two for two. Couple left, but nothing too crazy. Let's get this place marked on the map as good old lightning bolt. You jump right in a path of lightning bolt. Come on, fellas. Let's get you guys out of the way. We've got two, two groups to deal with, and then we can get home. Too easy. One, two, three. Ah, so close. Come on. Three and four. Group number two. Who's going to go down first? You had to be. And it's going to be Black Jumper. If it's quick. No. It was actually. It was going to be the next one. If only it was faster. Here's the first guy I hit and the last guy to go down. Alright, let's head on out. Don't have a generator for down there, which does suck. But future reference, the place is going to be wonderful. It's going to have so much, so much fuel in there. Cannot wait. Let's head back to our little original base. It's going to be going to be fun. I'm going to do so much fishing. Ah, oh, I needed the fishing book. Such an idiot. Brilliant. Even better. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the old M16 shots. Always makes me happy. Probably should have cleared, cleared these bits out as well, shouldn't I? Um, I won't take it home. I'll leave it just here. Uh, I'll spin it around. But now these guys just aren't flinching. I mean, there's a car driving right next to you and you do not care. I mean, I'll take it, but... Don't even care about a door slamming. Do you know what is quite scary to think about? End of the world, right? Even if you had power, you had like, I don't know, a thermal, no, a hydro dam set up to just feed you power forever. Eventually you're gonna run out of light bulbs. How do you make a light bulb? I know it's like a bit of cable and a glass, but how do you actually make them? Imagine that, all the power in the world. Not a single light in sight. I mean, cut out all the things in the middle, you know, Zeds, just raven bandits, rabid ghouls, if it ends up being nuclear. No light bulbs. <laughs> it's the little things. Donk. Duh, donk. Ah. Let's open for a little, little two for two. Oh, well, our little scouting trips were pretty successful. I'll give myself that. It's been, been quite a big killing day, but our scouting trip has been solid. I now know the exact mess that I'm getting into coming through downtown. Not even downtown Louisville. Coming through, like, the entrance to Louisville. I'm almost starting to debate whether it's safer going this way rather than straight down. I reckon, I reckon if we can get that trailer and just like clear that whole bottom end out, we're probably better off doing that. Or get a siren, slap it on over the far side and just draw all of the Zeds over there. Because we're not going to be able to clear out in between the hospital and that little railway yard. Not a chance. There's a couple of options we've got to be fair. Sledging out that wall 
and build my little path. Ball going a little bit further up to the bottom of the fence, sledging all of that out. I guess we need to cut that down. Yeah, we would. Sledgehammer on that bottom fence. Car straight through. Sledgehammer on the fence by that little housing estate we had. That'll be the way, I reckon. Yeah. I hope you're hope you're understanding my very non-descriptive mumbles. <laughs> but there is a plan. There's a plan in mind. I just need to execute it to show you what I mean. Because yeah, I tend to just babble on, basically. It's probably why I'm good at this. I just talk to myself for days. Definitely helps. Definitely helps. Alright, well, I think now that we're back at the old mounted police training building, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Our cabbages are almost done. Ah, they are ready to harvest. Very nice. Which only means we should probably get some fuel out here. Would be a very good idea. But for now, I'm gonna love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.